welcome here to more Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys to a Barcelona news roundup coming up for you today and we do have some interesting topics to discuss starting with Ansu Fati and the internal debate that's currently going on inside the club surrounding him and Memphis Depay. We're also going to be talking about Ousmane Dembele and the progress he's made over the past few months. Also on the agenda is Hector Bellerin. It's all coming up in today's video. So let's get to it. But first of all, just a quick update today from training, because obviously on this Thursday, it was supposed to be a rest day for all of the Barcelona players. But there were a few players today who were still undergoing their some training at the facilities. There was Lionel Messi and Sergio Busquets there, who were both following their scheduled work that's been set there by the Barcelona staff. And also joining their Messi and Busquets in training was Antoine Griezmann and Clement Longley, the two Frenchmen there who were just working on their fitness and still building up that match shot ahead, of course, of Saturday's first pre-season game against Nastique. Really looking forward to that one. But if we now discuss that Ansu Fati dilemma, and that is exactly the way that Mundo Deportivo put it on their cover on Thursday morning, and it was basically there said there was an internal debate right now going on at Barcelona as to whether they should dip into the transfer market, even with our pretty limited transfer funds this summer. Should we go out and sign somebody like Memphis Depay or should we rely much, much more on the services there of Ansu Fati? Is he ready? And that's the debate right now that is certainly going on at the club. Because when it comes to Depay, we've agreed personal terms with him, but we still haven't made an official bid to Olympic Lyon. And that's because we're waiting. The club right now aren't really sure what to do. And I just want to talk here about the way that Ansu could influence that decision. Because we've spoken already over on Talk FCB just a few days ago about the fact that Ansu Fati isn't just a good player here as a wide left winger, but also down the middle. As a nine right now, and MD also alluded to this, he is a genuine possibility to play in that position in this coming season under Ronald Koeman. Because it's not just the fact there that he is suited to that role, he's got pace, he's quite strong for his size, he's got good ability there inside the box, he makes good runs, and he's a really, really good finisher. But it's interesting, because Ansu Fati actually started his career and played for many, many years there of his youth career as a nine. So he is actually comfortable playing in that role if he's given the opportunity. And that's why when it comes to bringing in somebody like Memphis Depay, I first of all don't want to bring in anybody there who's going to hamper the likes of Ansu Fati because he should be by far and away our priority. Get the maximum there out of his ability and certainly there think about the future with him in mind. But if he does stay there out on the left hand side, I don't really think Depay is going to bother him too much. I think Depay actually coming in there as a centre forward, as a number nine, that's where he played for Koeman in the Netherlands national team, I think you'd probably be more of a problem to Antoine Griezmann. Because if Ansu stays out on the left, really Depay is going to be coming there for the role in a central position of Antoine Griezmann. He wants to play in that more favourable role. We thought that he'd get that chance this season. But if Depay comes in, very similar profile to Griezmann, for me, they're going to be battling it out for the same sort of role. But like I said before, all of this Depay stuff, it all relies on Suarez, who right now at least, still remains at the club. Also appearing on the front pages in the Spanish media this morning, it was none other than Usman Dembele who appeared on the cover there of Sport with the headline, Dembele, now or never. Talking there about the coming season and talking about his chances of success in a Barcelona shirt. And I think, to be fair, even me being a big, big fan of Dembele, I've got a lot of hope, a lot of expectation for him. Even I could accept that this season, it is now or never. If he cannot make it work, if he cannot find a way to stay injury free, I know that it's not down to him. Of course, he would love to be injury free. He would choose to be injury free, but he really needs this. He really, really needs now this season to be the one where he steps up and really delivers on that price tag. And I want to talk here about the fact that not only is Dembele ready, he's fully fit right now, he looks very, very confident, but also I want to talk about the physical profile. I want to talk here about the fact that Dembele looks in really good shape. Because obviously recently we talked about Coutinho, he's coming back to the club there, coming in from Bayern, his loan spell now of course come to an end, and he looks in great shape. He looks in really, really good physical condition, and that's a good thing. But also, have a look at Dembele, because we've also seen, of course, him arriving at the club back in 2017, arriving there from Dortmund as quite a skinny, quite a slight young player. And as soon as he came in, you sort of compared it there to when Neymar arrived from Santos. You were thinking he's going to have to gain a bit of weight. He's going to have to gain there a bit of muscle. He needs
needs to sort of strengthen himself coming over there to a team like Barcelona. You've got to make that happen. And I think looking at Dembele right now, he looks the best physically that I've ever seen him in his time at the club. He looks really motivated. He's been fully applying himself in training. He looks happy as well. That's a really important thing. We've seen him in training with a smile on his face. And I think right now, going into this season, of course with Dembele, we don't want to put those expectations too high. We've been here many, many times before. But we are all hoping that Dembele can finally, finally have that injury-free campaign to show that potential that he clearly has. We are all rooting for you. This is your time, Usman. Finally though guys, one rumour that I simply have to address is when it comes to Arsenal's Hector Bellerin because obviously earlier on today on Talk FCB we were talking about the squad depth at Barcelona, we were talking about where in that team we were strong and where we definitely needed to improve. Now one of those areas that quite clearly we need to improve on, we need to strengthen, it's at right back. Quite clearly there we are lacking in options and one man who's been linked over the past few days, only scarcely it's Hector Bellerin. Now according to Sky Sports in Italy, they say that if Barcelona were to enter the market at some stage in the next few weeks for a right back, Bayern would become a real option, but only if Semedo was to leave, which apparently is still not quite ruled out at this stage. Now, Arsenal would demand around 30 million euros of Bayern, and they've already rejected an offer from Paris Saint-Germain, but that was only a loan deal. What I want to say, though, about Bayern is, of course, he's a former Barcelona youth player. He then went to Arsenal at a very, very young age. He broke through young. He was looking really, really impressive. What I do want to say, though, is this is not the same bearing as all those years ago. Right now, for me, his career has stagnated. He's been quite injury prone. He's had problems. He's been playing at wing back. And I just don't think right now bearing is the answer to our defensive problems. I think going forward, he can certainly provide some quality. But I think defensively, he is not really what we need to sort out the glaring issues that we have in the fullback areas. I personally wouldn't want to go for him right now. It's only that one rumour, so I wouldn't read too much into it anyway. But for me, Baron, it's a no. But of course, guys, I am very, very interested to know your thoughts. As always, what do you think there about the Ousmane Dembele situation? Do you see him delivering on that potential this season? Would you put your trust there in Ansu Fati and maybe against bringing in Memphis Depay? And finally there on Hector Baron, would you like to bring him in? Would you like to see him again in a Barca shirt? Or has that ship quite long now, I feel? Has it sailed? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. There's plenty of content coming up right here and on Talk FCB in the coming days, of course, as Barcelona's season begins with those pre-season friendlies. I'll see you then for all of that stuff. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca. Oh.